Hallucinogen Persisting Perception Disorder, HPPD, is a chronic disorder in which a person has non-psychotic flashbacks of visual hallucinations or distortions experienced during a previous hallucinogenic drug experience, usually lacking the same feeling or mental intoxication experienced before. Oh yeah, that's professional right there. That's just... Houston, we have a problem. I was on drugs. And then I saw stuff. It's really not the problem. The problem is I continued to see stuff. It's a problem. Actually, all of it's a problem. It can be solved in the name of Jesus, because it done did me. In the name of Jesus, I break my agreement with any kind of drug activity that has brought this into my life. I break my agreement with all drug activity, which is uh, pharmacia, witchcraft. I repent of it. That means I change my mind about it, don't want it. And I command you to leave. Father, by the whipping you received, <clears throat> pardon me, I am healed in Jesus' name. Any kind of demonic activity that is producing this, I take authority over you. And in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. I declare over myself that I have clear sight, clear hearing, clear thoughts, power, love, and a sound mind. Anything that disagrees with this, you're wrong and leave now. In Jesus' name. That is a beginning prayer of deliverance. Oh, and there's a little bit more that will help you out. Um, this is kind of important as I do my shaky cam thing. Sorry about this. Forgive everybody, including yourself. Doesn't mean that what you've encountered that was evil is okay. And doesn't mean that you can't call the cops. I'm just saying once you've called the cops and gotten away from the evil, you just don't want to smoke them. You're like, God, I'll turn them over to you. You do what you're going to do to them. I'll let them be. Forgive me my sins as I forgive those who sin and trespass against me. Make sense? Because what that's real important. And I think someone's going to see this and it's going to just set you free. Uh, I know it did me. And it is a cornerstone because... The cross is about reconciliation uh, of God to man, and it comes through the forgiveness of all sin through the cross. And so uh, when we forgive, we become like Jesus, and as he has gained the uh, eternal favor of the Father, so do we. And in heaven, there is no death, hell, the grave, or anything associated with it, so that in our life, uh, the kingdom of heaven can come. So that means we get to eradicate, eject, break our agreement with, and just totally get rid of death, hell, and the grave. And it's not to say that there is, well, before I start mincing words, emotionally, HPPD, that's part of death, hell, and the grave. That's why I'm doing this, so that you can get rid of it. I did, you know, did, you know, I did me, uh, Great English. I had snow for a while. What else? I had one, man. I had one flashback. It was like, woo, it was. It was like being there again without the mental and emotional impact. It was really uh, anxiety, anxiousness, and like visual hallucination. You know, it was I was watching a MTV and there was a video effect that triggered a flashback. And this is before I was saved. I just said, no, we are not going down this road. Uh-uh. I stopped watching the video effect. And I just told myself, no. So, you know, if that works for you, cool. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to twist your arm into knowing Jesus. I'm trying to twist this thing off your life. Now, the cool thing was... My invitation to you for Jesus is that he's light and love and joy and peace and kindness and eternity uh, in perfect relationship to God, to God and their relationship to each other is love. So we enter into that love. So that's my invitation for you there. You're going to like that. And uh, 
But for right now, it's the HPPD. You can go and then think on good things. Be around the right people, places, and things. Keep praying and telling this stuff to go. It can be one and done. And uh, if you're very repetitious in your prayer, that's okay. The Bible says don't do vain repetitions. But if every one of your prayers is heartfelt, it's not vain. Never said you can't repeat. Just said don't be vain about it. So if it's like, God help me, God help me, God help me. And every time you're meaning it, good for you. Keep it up. You're going to win. So that's my uh, quick deliverance prayer on HPPD. Um, got questions, hit me up. Got answers. Let's chat. And uh, happy Thursdays to you guys. And we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.